Good morning and welcome to First United Methodist Church downtown Bentonville. So excited to see you all this morning as we are getting started. Uh, today we had the opportunity to film at Art on the Square at Downtown Bentonville Inc. And I wanted to show you a little bit about what's going on here. This week, um, they will be opening their gallery to the public on October 2nd. And so definitely save that date, come out. There's gonna be music, there's going to be speakers, and of course, lots of art. All these artists are local to Arkansas. Some are originally from Mexico and from India, and so you'll see influences from those areas. We're so excited about it. So tell us in the comments, what is your favorite local Bentonville place that really enhances the culture of Bentonville? We'll see you soon in worship. Bye.
Let us worship the Lord our God with gladness and come into God's presence with our praise and our song. Good morning. My name is Reverend J.J. Whitney, and I want to welcome you to worship here at First United Methodist Church of downtown Bentonville. If this is your first time to join us, please let us know that you're here by filling out the Connect card in the comments, and we'll be in touch with you later this week. We would love for everyone to share this worship with your family and with your friends. Share your joys and concerns with us here in the comments as we worship together this morning. So we're finishing our sermon series on the Lord's Prayer, and we look forward to you joining us next week as we celebrate World Communion Sunday, and we talk about the joy of hospitality. Be sure to grab your communion kits or whatever you have at home to join Pastor Andrea as she leads the table at the end of our service. Would you pray with me? Faithful God, your mercies are new to us every morning. In your presence, we gather to give you our thanks and our praise. You know our hearts and their depths. Your knowledge is not limited by our human perspective. Your creation unfolds its gifts for each day. And we see the great tapestry of love that you have spread out for our care. We offer you our worship. We offer you our love this morning. Great is your faithfulness to us. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Couldn't turn it. 
snow or you won't kick down I you won't tear down coming after me There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up coming after me There's no No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. The snow why you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. The snow. thousand we weep love have mercy for the homes incinerated we mourn love have mercy for the rule of law we lament love have mercy for kindness and nonviolence we pray love have mercy for courage to stand, to speak, to act, we pray, love, have mercy. For faith in one another, that we still hold the future in our hands, we pray, love, have mercy. For justice that dismantles oppression, hope that overcomes despair, for faith that overpowers dread, for love that defeats fear, for joy that will be not taken from us. We pray love, 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 have mercy. In the face of all that oppresses, give us trust in grace unseen. Give us hearts to rise, to serve, yes, even to sing. For life, for love, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Good morning, good morning. I would love to add my welcome to Pastor JJ in this morning. I'm so glad to be with you, and I'm glad you're here with us as we close out our sermon series, Heaven on Earth. And I pray, oh God, that you've been blessed, I've been blessed, we've been blessed by this sermon series. If you have not got a chance to, um, to keep up with that, don't worry. You can check us out on podcasts, you can go back and watch our videos on, on Facebook and also on YouTube. Um, I invite you to share with friends. If you've been blessed by this sermon series, share it with your friends as well. And today we're going, to, um, we're, be, we're going to be in Luke this morning. Um, chapter 6, so you want to grab your Bibles this morning, your apps or whatever. We're going to be in Luke chapter 6, beginning at verse 27, and we'll work ourselves down to 37. And I'm going to provide a reflective moment for us today. And just like any other ser any sermon, they're not finished. They're just beginning thought process for us to, to, to chew on, 
to embody it, and then to live it. So I invite you to listen to these words. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek and the other also, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. And if you love those who love you, what credit is that, you, that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge and you would not be judged. Do not condemn, and you would not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, we come this morning with so many different things on our hearts and our minds. But in this moment, we pray that you breathe a fresh breath of hope and love and that our ears are open that we may hear and that we may be doers of your word. In Christ, we pray. Amen. This is one of those weeks of grappling with Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, Lord, how do we love how do we love our enemies? How do we love our enemies? And there is no good answer to this question, especially, especially when we have been abused, we've been hurt, we have become damaged good by somebody who is our enemy. Loving and forgiving seems so different from our being. We, I mean, humans, it's so hard for us to do these things. So is it a part of our, even our ability to do it, to love and to forgive? We find what Jesus says in the Lord's Prayer says, we, the Lord taught us to pray, to forgive those who had trespassed against us. Jesus asked us to, to pray to God to forgive us. So forgiveness is a part of this thing called the kingdom of God. When Jesus came into the world ushering in the kingdom to come, and people were looking for signs and wonders, and Jesus says, the kingdom is among you. And how do we know the kingdom is among us? Because when God came into this world in the person of Jesus Christ, the reign of God began. And God's reign, God's rule, is ruled with judgment, love, forgiveness, and mercy. And we pray the Lord's Prayer we've learned through the sermon series is that not something that words that we just say from memory, but is actually a prayer that we actually embody and we live it out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your holiness, make it known to us, and may we be holy too. We pray the words of forgiveness. God, forgive me. 
And we also pray that we can forgive others. But do we forgive? And the question is for us, it's like when Jesus was in, in this, in this um, pericope of uh, chapter 6, Jesus is, this is the Sermon on the Mount, or the Sermon on the Plains. And the disciples are above Jesus, and Jesus is looking up to them. And that's a powerful imagery of Jesus looking up to his disciples, and providing a teaching about blessings and woes and how to love your enemy. And Jesus says, listen. The word listen is throughout Luke's gospel. And Jesus over and over says, why are you calling me Lord if you don't want to hear? And, and Jesus is providing the opportunity for people to say, you're, you're hearing, but you're not listening. And this morning, Jesus is looking down to us, or up to us, and says, listen to me. Because either you listen or you don't. Because we listen, we are able to, 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 to lean into the words of Jesus and not away. And we find a way that, you know, even though it's difficult to love our enemies, we find that there is a way to love. Because Jesus walked this earth. Jesus is not telling us anything that Jesus did not do himself. Matter of fact, we know how the story goes when Jesus is walking towards Jerusalem and he's being beaten and spit on and flogged. Jesus continues to go knowing the fate of humanity to, to hate him, to abuse him. But yet Jesus still loves. Even until death, Jesus says, forgive them for they know not what they do. So is forgiveness impossible or something that we can achieve? And who are our enemies? Jesus tells the, um, the Gentiles and Luke, they're gathered around and listening. He says, the ones who curse you, the ones who abuse you, and in Luke's gospel, it's a little different. The abuse here is more around words and deeds and malice gossip. And that we can, fall, we can, we can identify because to, to name someone an enemy is not our everyday language. We call those haters. We all got haters, right? We got plenty of haters. And you know what? We, we, we adopt enemies. We adopt enemies along the way. I don't know about you. You have some friends, really good friends. You know those bad breakups you used to have? You have your, you know, bad breakups and relationships. And the first thing your friend, your girlfriend, or your, or your best friend will tell you, you need to go and unfriend him, unfriend all his friends and everything else. And when you don't do it, it's like, why you didn't do this? So we adopt enemies. And then we continue to adopt enemies through social media. Our world is angry. We're angry. We wake up angry. As a matter of fact, we, 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 we go to sleep with our phones in our hands and we wake up putting our glass on phone. We go to social media and then we find ourselves, I, I didn't respond and you, you, you get to be angry. You wake up angry. You wake up because everybody is wrong and everybody is right. Everybody is wrong and everybody is right. And, and that is itself, it's anti, we live in this antic, antagonistic world. Everyone is an enemy. You know what? What we fail to do in this, in this time of thinking about enemies, what we fail to do is recognize that we are enemies. We are enemies. You know who we're enemies to? We're enemies to God. Because our whole being is turning, all the time is turning away from God, and we are enemies. But you know what? God so loved the world that God sent God's only begotten Son so that we would not perish, but we would have everlasting life. Forgiveness is rooted in love. And if we can't love, then we can't possibly forgive. And what we're, what we're called to do right now is to be the church, to be a different way, because what Jesus is saying, yes, sinners love sinners. That's easy. But what God is asking us to do is a different type of being, a different type of disposition, a different type of being. Love presupposes all things. It presupposes that the bad things might have called you out on, on social media. It presupposes that the hate that people are spewing here and there, whether it's wrong or right, or you're on the right side or the bad side, 
It means to be bigger and better and not lean into harming. Because Scripture tells us to do good, to bless those who curse us, and to pray. How often do we do those things? We, we like to get even, right? We want to get even. We want to have the last word. We want to be the ones to say, I'm right and you're wrong. But this particular gospel is saying love. Love despite what someone has done. And that is some hard stuff. I'm sitting here thinking about, my God, do you really, do you really, do you really deserve it? We say that all the time. You don't deserve my apology. You don't deserve my time. You don't deserve, you don't deserve, you don't deserve. We, we slam doors, we unfriend people, we write people off, and we are in a cancel culture. Hashtag cancel culture. Y'all know what that is? We cancel everyone. Anybody that disagrees with us, you are canceled. You could be up here and you, next day, you, you're like, who are you? We become an A-lister to a D-lister. Like, you know, we like, no, you're canceled. When do we get to this place where we stop giving people the benefit of the doubt? When do we get, well, how do we get here where we are so much better than the next person? Last time I checked this, that the scripture tells us nobody is righteous. Nobody is righteous. Even on our good day, we fall short. The scripture says, do not judge. And this whole idea about forgiveness is not forgetting about what somebody's done. Forgiveness is about not letting whatever that issue is, that in, 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 the enemy or whatever, that antithesis it or the opposition, whatever it may be, we don't let that consume us. That we wake up angry. We're angry. We're so angry. And the re reality is, is that we are called to be the church at such a time as this. They need to know, people need to know that Love is a way of God's reign, that God rules. And in God's kingdom, love rules. If God was keeping count, where would we be? Because when God sees us, he does not see us as these woeful sinners, but he sees us with love and care and righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ. So it all this goes back to loving forgiveness, goes back to our relationship with God. If we are indeed children of God, then that means that we love as God has loved us. We love as God has loved us. And that's a mark of the kingdom of God. It says here, Your, your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. If we love, we will be children of the Most High. And I know, I know a lot of you have been hurt and carrying so much hurt every day, and you say, you know, it's impossible for me to even begin to love and to forgive. And that's okay. It's okay to still be there, but the whole idea of Christian perfection and this whole idea of being better each day is leaning into the Holy Spirit because it's only through the Holy Spirit that we are able to even begin to love as God has loved us. And that we don't do things because somebody is going to turn around and, and, and be good to us. We, we, if we ever sit, if we sit there long enough, we will be waiting for a long, long time for someone to say, I'm sorry. But this particular way of being in the kingdom of God is to love our enemies and to forgive. And we do that. We know that we are doing what God's will is for us. God's kingdom to come is to love and forgive. And the scripture tells us that even God is, is merciful for the ungrateful and the evil. Ah! Because when God looked at God's creation, God said, you're good. And this is a hard reality to, 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 to live into because when the, the kingdom and common does not mean that suffering and heartache and abusing and malicious gossip and hurting and wrongs and pointing fingers and rights and here, the divisiveness that happens in our society. But we have a part to play, to bring in, to usher in the glimpse of the kingdom to come by the way that we love. So let's rise above. Let us put our phones down. Let us put aside the arguments and say, you know what? I love you anyway. 
You don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. But God is a merciful God. We are called to be merciful as our God is merciful. And that comes through this thing called God's grace. God chases after you and I every single day with God's grace. And you may say, I can't do this, but you know what Scripture tells us that we can do all things to Christ who strengthens us. What seems impossible for man is possible. God is lean in to this thing called forgiveness. Lean in to what it means to love. And that's the good news, that God loves us despite ourselves. So who are we to not love the person that God sees as good and divine? We are created in God's image. So let's love one another as people who resemble God. Today, it's a hard word. It's one that seems impossible. But today, may it be a new day. Do you say, you know, you know what? I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let today rule of hurts and past abuses. I'm not going to let my enemies bring me down. I'm not going to be the enemy. I'm going to love anyway, even despite of whether or not I deserve it or you deserve it. God says we deserve it. So let that be our prayer today. The healing begin, forgiveness begins, and the loving begins to be the way of our world. Another way you can respond to them today is to offer your prayers. Maybe your prayer is like, I need help in, in the area of forgiving. I need the help of love. Lord, let, me, let this be my prayer today. And let us pray for one another as we go through this week. And another way that you're able to respond our time this morning is through your tithes and your offering. And the ways you can give are before you. Let us pray. Oh God, we carry so many different hurts in our lives because of what others have done to us. And oh Lord, you're calling us to love anyway. You're calling us to, to take the higher road. You're call, asking us to not retaliate, to not cause harm, but to do good, to bless, and to pray for our enemies. So God, this, this morning we ask that you empower us with your, the, the power of your Holy Spirit to transform us, to do that which we cannot do ourselves. Oh Lord, we're depending on you, oh Lord, to help us to be merciful as you are merciful for us each and every day. And Lord, we ask you to, 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 to bless these tithes and this offering so it may be a blessing to our, the kingdom that is to come. In Christ we pray. Amen. When all your hopes are shattered And you feel like your soul is a sea Your dreams don't seem to matter Your heart is bruised and battered You can't feel anything Love anyway Love gone to hell no story left to tell love anyway I've been a long lost pilgrim love my home on fragile faith I've been the victim and the villain still the father to my
Amen. Another great day of worship with you on this morning, and we want to invite you back next week as we kick off a new sermon series around generosity. We look forward to you coming back next week. Also, if you have signed up for outdoor worship, we want you to be um, very, um, um, just survey your Facebook page for our announcement because we are expecting some um, weather that is going to be rainy. And so we want to be able to make a decision by 3 p.m. today about whether or not we're going to gather today, um, if the weather holds off or not. Um, so we invite you to, again, just to keep looking at your Facebook today about a decision about um, worship on the lawn. We also invite you to, if you have not got an opportunity to do worship on the lawn with us, there's still ways in which you can sign up. Go to our Facebook page, fumcbentonville.org, and you can sign up for worship on the lawn, worship on the lawn um, there on our Facebook page. Again, if you have not got a chance to see the sermon series, Heaven on Earth, share it with your friends. Go back and get um, caught up by going to our videos or podcasts. Forgiving and loving is a hard thing. Remember, with Jesus Christ, it is made possible. Respond to God's grace and see, begin to see the love filling your heart and filling the land, healing the land. We invite you back next week. Have a great week. <laughs>